Hey Galaxy family, welcome back to the channel, your home for Samsung tips, tricks and hidden gems that most people don't even know exist. Now let me ask you something, have you ever looked at your Galaxy phone and thought, I know this thing can do more, but I'm only using 50% of its potential. Well, in today's video, we're unlocking the other 50% with 7 powerful One UI 7 and 8 features that will make your phone faster, smarter, cleaner and way more fun to use. But before we start, a quick reality check. Only 8.9% of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed. That means 9 out of 10 people watching right now are missing out on future updates, new One UI features, and Galaxy hacks that could literally change the way you use your phone. So do me a favor and yourself as well. Tap that subscribe button right now. Smash the like button because the more you like, the more YouTube pushes the video out to other Samsung fans. And comment below which feature you tried or want to try. All right, grab your phone, sit back, and let's jump straight into the best hidden gems of One UI 7 and 8. So feature number one is your secret diagnostic tools. So this is one of those insider-only features that every Samsung user should know, or anyone who's trying to buy a second-hand Samsung Galaxy phone. So here you can basically open up a dialer, type in some numbers, and then you can go ahead and enter into Samsung diagnostic menu. So this is great for people who are buying second-hand phones, or basically just need a diagnostic tools on their phone to fix or troubleshoot an issue. So example, if you're having some issues with your screen, maybe where you're tapping, the screen is not working. So we're using this diagnostic tool, you can basically find out the fault and then send it for repair. So let me show you how to enter into this diagnostic tools. So first go ahead and open up the phone dialer here, the phone app. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on star hash zero star hash. So that's what you need to type star hash zero star hash. I'll put it on the screen here at the top. Now here you can basically enter in the diagnostic tools. So here you can go ahead and test everything out. So you can test your red colors, your green color, blue, your receiver, the vibration, camera, your sensors. So you have your accelerator sensor, barometer, proxy sensor, gyroscope and the magnetic sensor. You have the fingerprint sensor as well. You have your speaker, sub key, front camera, black, all IC, MLC, S Pen, and the loop back. So these are all the tests you can do before you buy a phone. Or if you wanna go ahead and see your screen, you can go ahead and test it as well using this. So it's like a doctor's toolkit for your phone. So this is perfect for when you're buying a used Galaxy or when you suspect hardware issues. So instead of guessing what's wrong, you'll know and you can fix or return it with confidence. No apps, no tools, just a built-in Samsung power. Feature number two is your dual messenger. So Dual Messenger lets you clone your favorite chat apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram, Facebook, or Snapchat, and you can use basically two accounts on one device. So if you've got one number for work and one for personal life, keep them separate but easy access. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you're gonna scroll down and find advanced features. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way until you see Dual Messenger. Tap on this. So here you have all the available message apps. So I've got WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, Skype, and Messenger. So here, let's say I have another Facebook account. I can go ahead and turn on Facebook, install that, read the disclaimer, confirm it. If I wanna use a separate contact list, I can go ahead and turn this on. I can tap next if I don't want to. I'll go ahead and use my regular contacts. And now here, Facebook has been turned on. So a second copy of Facebook has been installed. So if I go to my home screen, if I search for Facebook, you'll see that there's two Facebooks. So one is my normal Facebook, and the second one is my second account Facebook. This will ask me to log in. So here I can go ahead and log in using my second Facebook, and then go ahead and use it on my Samsung Galaxy device. So this is no need for a second phone or an extra app. You can keep business and private chats totally independent. You can avoid the confusion and accidentally messaging the wrong contact. So it's a game changer for entrepreneurs, freelancers, and anyone who multitask daily. Feature number three is your adaptive clock for your wallpaper. So the adaptive clock is one of those small but beautiful touches that make One UI feel premium. So it's automatically adjusts your clock's look and color based on your wallpaper or theme. So this keeps your lock screen stylish and perfectly matched every time you open or unlock your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here I've gone ahead and downloaded some wallpapers, which I would like to add to my screen. So let's go ahead and set this for my lock screen. However, we'll go ahead and 
apply the adaptive clock on it as well. So we'll go ahead and try with this first one. Tap on set as wallpaper. We'll set it as our lock screen wallpaper. So with the adaptive clock, the adaptive clock will basically adapt to the subject in the wallpaper. So as you can see, if I go ahead and move this down, you'll see that the numbers will basically resize. So you can see the one hasn't resized, however, four and two has resized and four here is just the original size. So as you can see, it's basically creating like a circle or a semicircle around this object here or the subject. So in order to get this clock, you wanna go ahead and tap on the clock and in font and color, you wanna go ahead and choose this second option. As you can see, the clock is moving around. So this is the adaptive clock. Now here at the bottom, you can go ahead and choose your style. So you can have thin clock or you can have a bold clock. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. Next, you can go ahead and choose all these different colors. However, since it's adapter, you can go ahead and choose this A, which is basically adapt to the color of the wallpaper. Now in style, you can only have the second option with this. So this will basically adapt to the clock. Now you're gonna go ahead and tweak your wallpaper. So as you can see, as I am resizing the wallpaper, the clock is basically adapting. If I go ahead and move it to the right, you can see the clock is adapting to that. Go ahead and move it to the left. You see that clock is adapting to that as well. So like this, you can keep your layout visually cohesive and professional. So it works seamlessly with the color theming you choose. It makes every wallpaper change feel like a fresh new design. So this is like a tiny tweak that adds a big dose of polish to your Galaxy experience. Feature number four is where you can block ads system wide. So are you tired of ads popping up in apps, games, or browsers? Here's a clean built-in solution called the private DNS where you can edit the private DNS and add a address. And this will basically block any ads on your apps, games, or browsers. So let me show you how to do this. So here first, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find connections, Scroll down again and find more connection settings. Here, find private DNS. So here I've already enabled this private DNS. So as you can see, if you go ahead and tap on private DNS provider host name, here you go ahead and type on dns.adguard.com. So save this. So now if you go ahead and open up any apps with ads, those ads will be blocked by the ad card. So no more cluttered banner or intrusive pop-ups. You can speed up your browsing by blocking trackers and scripts. And this saves battery and mobile data because ads secretly drain both. So this is simple, effective, and it's totally free. Feature number five is where you can add a screenshot button to your navigation bar. So taking screenshot just got way easier. So instead of pressing these two buttons here at once, you can add a screenshot button right here at the navigation bar. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find Navstar, go ahead and switch this feature on. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on new configuration. Now here, go ahead and tap on button layout and then tap on add button. So now here you can go ahead and choose the screen capture button, which is right here. Go ahead and tap on it. And this will add a screen capture button to your navigation bar. Tap on done, then tap on save. Now go ahead and scroll down and find your new layout, which is right here. Tap on this, and then go ahead and tap on home. So now if you look at your navigation bar, it has changed. You can see a screen capture button. So you can go ahead and open any app, tap on that screen capture button. This will take a screenshot for you. So you can use this button anywhere you like. So this captures your screen with one effortless tap. So no more juggling side buttons or missing that perfect moment. This is perfect for creators, teachers, or anyone who screenshots often. So once you try it, you'll never go back to the old way. Feature number six is your call caption feature. So imagine being on a call in a loud cafe, or maybe you didn't quite catch what someone said, and that's where call caption steps in. So it automatically transcribes your phone calls in real time, showing you text captions as you talk. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and enable this call feature. So go ahead and tap on the phone app, tap on three dots, tap on settings, and then tap on call captions. Here, you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show what each person says on the screen during calls. So caption can be useful when hearing is difficult. So if needed, you can inform the other person that the call is being captioned. You can go ahead and choose your language. I've right now just left it to English. Go back. Now let's go ahead and start a call. 
Now, as you can see in the call screen here, you'll see this new button called CC. So this is the call caption. Go ahead and tap on this. And now call caption has been enabled. So whatever the other person speaks, it will basically show up on screen. So here I'll just go ahead and unmute it and basically say some lines. Hi, this is a simple dad. How are you? Please subscribe to this channel. So as you can see, when I spoke into that other phone, it basically transcribed whatever I've said and it's given a call caption. So I can go ahead and look at this. So if I'm in an environment where it's really noisy or I cannot hear the other person, I can go ahead and look at this call caption and then go ahead and reply to this person. Hi, yes, I'm fine, thank you. So whatever I say, it's also being transcribed into captions here. Unfortunately, the other person won't be able to see this screen. Only a Samsung user would be able to see this screen. So this is ideal for people who have hearing issues or in a noisy environment. It lets you follow conversation clearly without missing a word. And you can even keep captions as quick notes or references. So Samsung is bringing real world accessibility right into your call screen. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can customize your icons with the Icon Pack Studio. So if you're into personalization, this one's for you. As you can see my screen, all my icons have been personalized with a custom icon. So if you like something similar to this, you can do this with Icon Pack Studio. Icon Pack Studio lets you design your own apps, tweak colors, shape, shadows, and even gradients. However, if you're not into that, you can go ahead and use icon packs from other people who have made it for this. So you can match icons to your wallpaper, theme, or aesthetics, and it syncs perfectly with Goodlock's theme part. So let me show you how to install this. So here on Play Store, you wanna go ahead and search for the Icon Pack Studio. So this is the app you need. Go ahead and install it. Now once installed, you wanna go ahead and open the app. So here you can go ahead and browse through all of these icon packs. Try to look out for the ones that don't have a pro badge on it or else you'll have to pay for that. So let's just say as an example, we'll go ahead and choose this icon here. So we can go ahead and tap on this and we'll tap on download. Now it's been added to my library, so I'll go ahead and find it. I'll tap on apply, tap on okay, and then okay again. This will now download it to your phone. So just hold on for a minute. So your iPhone pack is ready, tap okay. Now you can go ahead and bring down your notification, tap on it to install it. So install this icon pack. We'll go ahead and open it. We'll go ahead and press home. Now next, you wanna go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, open Theme Park. Then you wanna go ahead and tap on Icon, tap on Create New, and then tap on Icon Pack here at the top. And now you wanna go ahead and tap on Exported Icon Pack. Now go ahead and choose your shape. So I've just chosen the circle. I'll go ahead and save this, give it a name. Now I'll go ahead and choose that icon pack and then apply it. Now I press home. Now, as you can see, our icon pack has changed. So like this, you can go ahead and browse through these icon packs, which are available on the icon pack studio and find the ones that you like. So you can express your creativity with completely custom icons. You can build a cohesive and minimalistic or a vibrant home screen look, and you can refresh your entire phone style in minutes. So it's like having Photoshop for your app icons, but much simpler. And there you have it, seven awesome One UI 7 and eight features that can turn your Samsung Galaxy from great to phenomenal. If even one of these blew your mind, you know what to do, like this video. It tells YouTube this content is worth sharing. Comment below which feature you're using right now or share your own Galaxy tricks so others can learn too. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, only 8.9% of you are subscribed, so we can totally fix that today. Don't forget to turn on the notification because I've got even crazier One UI tips coming your way tomorrow. So let's grow this Galaxy community together. One feature, one video, and one like at a time. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.